how to use social media to sell more of your print on demand t-shirts. Instagram edition. In this video, we're going to be talking all about Instagram. I'm going to be setting up an Instagram page with you to sell our print on demand t-shirts. So in this video, this is what we're gonna go over. And I've got a whole list on my computer because I don't wanna miss anything out. I'm gonna tell you what we're gonna go over. And then in the description down below, you can have, you'll see timestamps to jump to certain bits if you wanna jump to certain bits. If you wanna watch the whole thing, which I recommend doing, then just continue watching from here. But we're gonna talk about setting up the Instagram account, creating a logo, creating niche specific brand name, writing up the bio for your profile, what link to use in your bio, different types of content to post and actually where to find it and how to create it and what captions to use on your content, what hashtags to use. Obviously what hashtags to use is dependent on your niche and your image. The overall theme of the Instagram page, where to get content for your Instagram page, creating stories and highlights, creating ads within Instagram, how often, that you, how often you should be posting, and tools that you can use to automate the whole posting of Instagram. Now, if you don't wanna spend any money, you don't have to use any tools or anything like that, nothing is required, but I feel like this video is going to be an entire breakdown of the Instagram platform with print-on-demand business. Okay, so before we get started, before I get right into all of it, please consider hitting that subscribe button just down below, hitting the bell notification. I'm so close to 10,000 subscribers and that's my aim for this whole period of time, this lockdown, this quarantine, whatever you wanna call it. My aim is to try and get to 10,000 subscribers. So if you haven't already subscribed to my channel and you're interested in print on demand, please click the subscribe button. My name is Shimmy Morris. I create videos, or I try to create videos every single day on Amazon FBA, print on demand, and other ways to make money online. So definitely click that subscribe button. I know you will want to. And let's get straight into this video. The first thing we're going to do is create the Instagram account. So here you can see I'm on the Instagram page and let's create an account. So in order to create an account, we need to come up with a niche name for our print on demand business or our print on demand niche. You wanna have a different Instagram account for every niche you do. So for this video, for this, this whole example, I'm going to use dads are awesome. Okay, that is going to be my niche, that's going to be all of that. And I just want to put a disclaimer here that any images or any designs, anything like that, I have used from Google. I haven't thought up original ideas just because this is all for illustration purposes and I'm just doing it to help you. I'm not actually selling these t-shirts or making money from this Instagram account. So we know that our niche is going to be dad t-shirts of some sort, like my dad is awesome, something like that. So we wanna go with that niche and our name is gonna be Dads Are Awesome. However, Dads Are Awesome are not, is not gonna be available. So as we can see, Dads Are Awesome is, oh, let's click sign up, sorry. That's what we have to do. Right, we need a mobile number or an email. So for my mobile number, I'm going to put in, I'm going to put in my work phone number, just because I've used my other phone number for something else, for my personal account. So full name is going to be Shimmy Morris. Username, dads are awesome, is going to be taken, I have a feeling. Yep, dads are awesome, how about dads underscore are awesome. Awesome not available, dads are awesome one. Brilliant, dads are awesome one. Now let's have a look at dads are awesome one without the underscores. Brilliant, okay, let's make a password. Okay, click next. Just one more step, enter the six digit code that was sent to your phone. Right, step one is done. Instagram has been made. What we need to now do is we need to just follow some people. So we're gonna follow some dads are awesome pages. The next thing we're going to do is create the logo. So we're going to use a page called, well, a website called canva.com to actually create this logo. And let's go into Instagram post. And a logo should be a circle, okay? So you wanna work with a 
a square basically image so that you can, well, you want to work with a square on Canva and then you want to put your logo in the square and just note on Instagram, it's going to show up as a circle. Okay, so first what we're going to do is we're going to put a circle in here. So this is just, let's just do this quickly. Right, this is going to be our picture basically. Okay, so now that we know that this is what we can work with here. So let's put some text in. Okay, that is pretty cool. That is going to be our Instagram, well, picture. So let's download that full size, download. Once that's downloading, we can go into Instagram. We can select that and we can go to downloads. And now we've done two things. <laughs> All right, we are blasting our way through this video. We have now created the Instagram account and we've created the logo. Okay, so again, you can do the logo on Canva. Now what you want to do is you want to create the bio. So the bio is the thing that goes under my name over there. All right, so what we want to do is we want to create the bio in probably a notes app, just because you really, you can't create a cool bio with paragraphs within Instagram. So you can only do that within the notes app. So let's have a look at this. Click the link below. Right now, let's add some. Let's add some emojis. Everyone loves a few emojis here and there. So awesome. So what we want to do is we want to copy that. We want to go to Edit Profile here. And firstly, we can change our name to something a bit better than than Shimmy Morris because this is all about this is all about T-shirts, isn't it? It's all about your print-on-demand business. So we can do custom dad t-shirts bio that's the bio and then the website link what you want to do is you want to put your shop storefront in there so for the purposes of this video we are going to be using the website teespring.com okay teespring is a platform where you can upload your designs and sell them and you don't really have to spend any sort of money and i'll show you teespring very quickly because to be honest most of you watching this will know what teespring is so i wouldn't really be worried about that but you can literally just click start designing you go through you go through the design process and you design a t-shirt and then it will look something like this so let's put in it will look like one of these basically okay now obviously it's not gonna be this design but it will look like this kind of page and it's super easy. They give you everything you possibly need. You've got the link, you've got the, the infrastructure, you've got the shipping, they do, they do everything for you. So just to make our lives easier, we're going to be using Teespring with this. And on Teespring, you can have a storefront. So you're going to put the link to your storefront over here, right? And you'll use a bit.ly link, right? So bit.ly. And again, bit.ly, super easy to get. Log in, it's free, create the link put it in Instagram, really, really easy. Okay, once you've done that, let's click Submit. And um, Profile has now been saved. Okay, so let's go back to our profile and look how awesome that looks. That's already looking so much better, right? And you can always test this. You can test what you want to put in the bio to see what is converting a bit better. We now want to talk about the different types of content that you can use on your Instagram page. Now there's a lot surrounding this subject. We're going to be talking about the overall theme and all of this kind of stuff. However, just in this part of the video, we're gonna be talking about three types of posts that you can post on Instagram. One is going to be a t-shirt post, just a generic t-shirt post. Another one is going to be a model post, so a model wearing the t-shirt. And the third one is going to be a viral image or video. And I'm gonna show you a really cool free Chrome extension tool that you can use to actually download viral content on Instagram. So download the, the content directly from the Instagram website and then re-upload it. Obviously, I'd recommend if you do that to credit anyone that you've taken the videos from or the photos from, because it's just the right thing to do. But we're gonna talk about the three posts now. So the t-shirt itself post what you can do is when you create your t-shirt on teespring like this person has you can actually drag this onto your desktop so we can go here or this way and drag it on to our desktop okay and now you can have a look and this is the t-shirt so that in itself is an instagram post okay 
It's that easy. That is an Instagram post. What you can do to make it a bit prettier to spice up is to actually upload that onto Canva. And once you do that, right, so let's exit this and let's click add a new page over here. Let's delete this background. And let's copy this picture. Again, this is not my design, so I'm not gonna bother even using this t-shirt. But this is a basic, simple Instagram t-shirt post, okay? Nothing complicated. This is one type of post. The other type of post is to use a model, okay? And we're going to use Place It. This is also free to actually get teach to get mock-ups of people wearing your t-shirt. The only thing you need to do is upload the design. Okay, and actually in this video, I'm going to upload a whole bunch of t-shirts, a whole bunch of images to, t to uh, sorry, I'm gonna upload a whole bunch of images to Instagram so you can see what the page is actually looking like and what I mean, because I wanna illustrate this as well as possible. So what we wanna do is, we wanna stick to a certain theme. So I decided I wanna stick to this outdoorsy theme, okay? So this one's the wood. So I would go down here and I would pick, well, I would find this outdoorsy theme and I would pick it and I would pick all the similar images like this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. Do you see my point? So I'm going for that theme. So what I would do is I'd click this and place it is really, really easy to use. So this is placeit.net. So you'd go to mockups, t-shirts, and then you'd pick one of the t-shirts, one of the people. You'd upload your design. So I'm gonna upload one of my designs that I've made for this video. Brilliant, let's put that up there. Okay, and these designs, as I said before, are not my designs. I found them on Google and I'm using, I just copied them and used them in this video just so I can illustrate to you how this works. I don't plan on selling these designs or doing anything with them. Change the color of the t-shirt. Brilliant, then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to download this, download now. And it says your request is now processing. It will email me once it's done. It's that easy. Okay, so that's what you want to do. You want to have this kind of post. You want to have the other kind of post that we just said, which was this kind of post. And then the third kind of post we actually find on Instagram. So for example, we would search hashtag dad. We would see what's popular, what's trending, what's doing well. And typically we, we want a normal picture, not like any of these ones. So what we want to ideally do is go to the home or the discover tab and providing you've actually given some sort of inf like information of what you like and you start liking particular posts, you start following particular channels, you'll actually be given some information in your Discover tab. So if we wanna stick with that outdoorsy theme, we could easily go for something like this, or this, or, or actually this one's perfect. So what we would do is, do you see how everything has this download at the top here? So we would click download, and that would actually download this image for us. We would all obviously click this image, see who did it, so one Becky Blue, and we would, when we post it, we would say, thanks for the amazing photo at this person. We would give them a shout out for using their image, basically. Okay, those are the three types of pictures. Now, towards the end of this video, I'm actually going to go on my phone and record the screen, and actually, you're gonna watch me build up the Instagram with images, with all of it, so that way you can see the overall theme. So, what kind of captions do we want with our images? Well, like I said, we have three types of images. I'm going to write those three images down for you now. So you've got plain t-shirt picture, model t-shirt picture, and viral image slash video. Fine, so these are the three things, let's bold those. Now, for the main just a plain, it's just for a plain t-shirt picture, you want to say what it is. So for example, you want to say limited edition, whatever was on the t-shirt. So limited edition dad's awesome t-shirt, visit at, and then at yourself. So at dad's are awesome and click the link in the bio to buy. That simple. Okay, so it would be something like, it's that simple, okay? And you're gonna create a very similar one to the model one, the only difference is this one you'll be, you'll say something along the lines of, get the new look, check out 
what and then give the model a fake name check out what i don't know bianco is wearing you wouldn't say that because it'd be a man but check out what tom is wearing in this in this picture get yours today limited time only whatever you want to say and then the viral image the viral video that will be something that can have a nice quote on it it can have a nice story behind your brand and again don't forget to credit the original photos owner that's very very important now, in terms of actual hashtags, what hashtags to use, first thing I'm going to say, don't use any like, hashtag print on demand or hashtag t-shirt or hashtag teespring. Don't use any of those because that's, that's not what you're doing. You're not, you're not selling the business, you're selling your t-shirt. So you want to use hashtag dad, hashtag dads are awesome, hashtag um, whatever. You want to do a whole bunch of research on dad hashtags and use those. And you can use up to 30 and I recommend using all 30. And just to quickly show you what you want the hashtags to look like, you want to have the hashtags in the first comment. Okay, you don't want the tags to be in the description. You want to write the description and then immediately, like really, really fast, have it already copied and then paste in on the first comment the description, uh, the, the hashtags. So you'd have, what you want to do is you want to see how I've done five full stops and entered after each full stop. You then want to have and then space, and then write the next one. Write out all 30 hashtags like this, okay? So write out all 30 hashtags, okay? And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna copy this. You'll have this on your phone as well, so put the notes on your phone. Command C, copy that, and then as soon as you post it, write in the first comment, Command V or Control V if you're on whatever, or copy it or paste it on your phone, right? And paste that into the first comment. And that is how people will eventually see you. And over time, you'll get a lot more views. And we'll talk about advertising in a minute, but this is just the free ways of actually getting seen on Instagram. So in terms of overall theme, as I said, my overall theme, I wanted to go for the woods, the outdoor kind of theme. And that's what mine is gonna look like. So it'll be lots of browns, lots of greens. And when you scroll through Instagram, when you scroll through the page, it will all flow really, really nicely. And for something like this, if I wanted, right, to match with the theme, I would have the background, I would change the color of the background to match that as well. So for example, I would go for a greenish kind of background. Now, what I would have to do is actually cut this t-shirt out, which I can easily do on Photoshop or I can do on GIMP or whatever. Or if you really want, you can just go back to place it and find a mock-up where it's just a t-shirt. So just a plain t-shirt like this, right? It's a plain t-shirt and you can have whatever background you want. So you can literally just do something like that, which is actually a lot nicer than doing than doing this. But basically I know what colors I wanna to stick to. I wanna to stick to greens and browns and like a woody kind of color. Think about your overall niche. Think about who, who you're trying to target. So for me, I'm tra trying to target more men or, or wives of husbands who would wear these kind of t-shirts. So that kind of theme works. Whereas if you're targeting whatever, let's say you're targeting dogs or cats, you might wanna go for a more playful, happier color, color tone for your Instagram page. Just bear in mind that as you scroll through your Instagram page, you want it to all match. Like this person who I actually know and they have an awesome Instagram page. Okay, and as you can see, they've got such a nice theme. So they start purple, they go to blue, they go orange, they go to green, they go a bit darker, right? And they go to this brownie green. So you can see they've got quite a nice theme to actually like follow. So that is the kind of thing that you want. Now I know they don't have a lot of followers, they just started Instagram, but my point still stands in that you want to try and go for a really nice, easy to look at theme for your Instagram page. So where are we actually finding the content to put on Instagram? Well, all the designs obviously you would have are yours. The designs, as I said, are not mine. I've just taken them from Google and then redesigned them in Photoshop. But if I was doing this, I would use my own designs. What I would say is you can use three places. One, you can use Teespring and actually just drag the image off like I showed you. Two, you can use place it and actually download mockups with your design on it. And three, you can use Instagram's own website and you can use a downloader, which I'll tell you what it's called. It's called downloader for Instagram plus direct message. And you can use that to actually download 
actual Instagram posts that you can then go and use in your Instagram page. So those are the three places that you can actually find content or places to create content for your Instagram page. The next thing you wanna do is actually create some stories and then make them highlights. So if you have a particular t-shirt that you really like and you're selling it as a t-shirt, socks, hoodie, tank top, whatever, create a story with each individual product with tons of different images of those products, make the story flow really nice so when you click across it goes nicely and just that the whole thing is graphically pleasing to look at. Once you've done that, create a highlight with that particular design, okay? And that way on your Instagram page, you'll be able to have all different highlights of all your different most popular t-shirts, which people can just jump to and watch and then eventually buy. Okay, so that's a really, really important thing to have is highlights. And obviously you've got to put the stories there first and turn them into highlights. And you can use, again, websites like Canva or Photoshop or many other places to actually create visually pleasing stories okay don't just create a story of you talking like this or just a photo you can actually create a story where you put the t-shirt in there you can have text coming in like this so you can have this halfway there and then you can have this there and then you can have the design so let's say let's say that's the design obviously it would be not on with a white horrible ugly background right and you can have Maybe let's say that was a hoodie version of it. Again, I don't have that on hand now, but like you get the point, right? And then you would have the next story. Now this is a square image. You'd want the story to be like a phone kind of thing. But does that make sense, right? That is the aim. That's what you want to be doing. The next thing to discuss is how often you want to be posting. So I would recommend posting three times a day, either the three different types of content or posting the same kind of content a few times so you don't have to always post a t-shirt then a, a viral post then a model you can post three models one day you can post three models every day for a week and then post a t-shirt like I said just make sure that it flows with the Instagram account and the Instagram account looks nice but I would suggest posting minimum three times a day okay and it's really easy to get these posts because you don't have to go out and take photos and find and create it like that you literally just have to create another mock-up in place it and place it place it have thousands and thousands and thousands of mock-ups so i would not worry at all about that right and the last thing i want to just quickly discuss with you is two tools one was this downloader for instagram so if i search downloader for instagram right it's really this easy you just it's the first one there and this is what it looks like downloader for instagram plus direct message and that's that tool, okay? So that's the first tool I wanted to say. The second tool I wanted to say is later for Instagram. Now this is a tool to schedule posts, which is a really, really good tool. If you don't, if you wanna save money, you don't wanna do this, then that's absolutely fine. In terms of pricing, there is a free one, which allows one profile and 30 posts. So this actually allows you to have, to schedule 30 posts. That's, if you're posting once a day, that's a whole month of posts. Of posts. This one, which is 750 a month, allows you 100 posts, which is the what we wanted, three posts a day. So I don't recommend necessarily paying for this or getting this. This is just an idea because it makes the whole planning process and the whole scheduling process on Instagram so much easier. But again, if you're looking just to save money and you just want to create an Instagram account and you're happy to put in all the extra work and all the extra effort, then you don't need this. I just wanted to make you aware of it. And now that that's all done, I'm going to log into my phone now and I'm going to actually create those posts and do the whole thing and start the Instagram page so you can see what it looks like and how to do it. Here I am with my Instagram page. Now what I want to do is I want to actually post those photos. So let's do that. Now what we want to do is we want to actually just upload a photo. Okay, so it's super easy. Let's go to plus library. And again, remember, we're keeping towards the theme. So this can be our first photo. Next. Right, we want the caption. Have you just become a father? That's a cause. Hello. Operation. Visit. Visit at. 
that uh, that are awesome one and click the link in the bio okay easy now that's what you're going to leave it you're going to click share okay now remember you want to have the hashtags ready on copied so what you'll do is imagine i had my hashtags because i haven't actually i don't have them but what it would have it was how it would have the the five full stops and then it would actually have the hashtags okay so that are awesome but the thing is i'm typing these hashtags in okay you'd want to actually have the hashtags copy and pasted ready to go because this takes too long you don't, you don't want to be doing this, right? But what you do want to do is copy and paste. And once you've done that, you just quickly click post. You post all 50 hashtags, or sorry, all 30 hashtags, and then you're done. Okay, and that's your first post. Let's add another post. You get the idea of what I'm doing, and what this looks like, right? And you can kind of see the theme as well. It's a very similar greeny kind of brown greeny kind of theme. And that is the theme I'm going to be sticking to for, for this Instagram account. Right, and it's very, very easy. And what I would do firstly is where well, I say here, click the link below, make sure you actually have a link, right? So you need to actually include a link, which I haven't yet done, but it would be the link to your Teespring storefront. The last thing I want to actually tell you, okay, and this is just to wrap up this video, is if you want, you can edit profile and switch to a professional account. Once you've done that, so click business, continue. The reason why I'm switching to a professional account is because it actually allows me to create ads within Instagram, okay? So for example, what I can do is I can click promotions here and these will be all the promotions. So choose a post to promote. Let's say I wanna promote this one. Continue. You have to log in, I can do that there. Okay, you have to log in and what it will then ask you to do is to manage it and when you, basically when you create the post, you'll be able to add interests, add budget, add all of that within the Instagram app. It's amazing. So once you've done that, you can actually promote each of your individual posts just with a little budget, five, $10, just to help build your Instagram page and to help build awareness. That is how, that is how you can pretty much run an entire print on demand business through Instagram. That is the entire thing from beginning to end. All you have to do now is just continue posting. It's a waiting game. It could take a month, it could take three months, it could take a year for your Instagram to really hit it hard and to actually start getting good sales from Instagram. That is pretty much the whole Instagram walkthrough. I hope that video made sense. Let me know down in the comments if you like this video, if you like this kind of video, and I can create more like it for other platforms like Facebook, or Google or whatever, YouTube even. And uh, yeah, again, if you haven't already subscribed to this channel, hit the subscribe button. I'm so close to 10,000 subscribers and I just know you're gonna absolutely love all my other content. So thank you very much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful and hopefully I'll see you in either tomorrow's video or the next video that I do.